So I have not had a good year with squash. They keep dying or it's too hot. And now I came outside and found this. This is a squash vine borer uh, larvae. And you can see the damage that it's done to my squash plant. This is kind of what they looked like before. They were finally starting to vine out. These are the second or third planting I've made this year. And now this one is completely wilted and falling down. And here's the borer. So um, I see a lot of people trying to save them. I don't know if it can be saved because look, it completely decimates the inside of the plant, boring through it and eating it and sucking off the juices. But if you look at the plant, you'll see where it's literally boring into the stem. And all you have to do is cut or push out um, from the top and remove this vine borer. And so here it is, is the vine borer. And you are going to want to smush this, feed it to your chickens, dump it in a bottle of or a bucket of soapy water. But you want to kill these guys because you do not want it getting back in your garden. You don't want to move it to a different area of your yard where it could decimate more crops. But here it is. It really just looks like a giant maggot. And again, look, this is the amount of damage it's done. This went from a happy plant to just, wow, droopy. And you can see it's kind of eaten out most of the stem. It's completely bored through it. I've seen some people um, say that you can plant the ends of these back in and they'll root. I'm not sure if this plant's going to survive, to be honest. This may be one to pull out. But unfortunately, I had more than one plant where I discovered vine borers in it today. So I'm going to experiment and try and see if I can get one of these um, to root further and survive. But this is probably the end of this plant. But once again, this is a squash vine borer, and that's how you remove it. So I hope this helps you guys out.